In this video, we're going to look at the gram stain technique. Now, the purpose of the gram stain technique, it allows us to differentiate between bacteria that have a thick cell wall and those that have a thin cell wall. And it's a diagnostic step we use when we're trying to identify an unknown bacterium. So let me uh, describe what you're going to need here. You'll need a bottle of deionized or distilled water, a bottle of crystal violet, bottle of grams iodine, some 95% ethanol, we also call this decolorizer, some saffronin, a book of bibulous paper, a staining tray, a pipette for applying my decolorizer, my alcohol, and also a bacterial smear. And on the bacterial smear, make sure it's from a bacterial culture that is no older than about 24 to 36 hours. That way you'll get the optimal results and reliable results. Also, you will need something to keep track of time. I have a watch here, but a cell phone works wonders also. Either way, whatever you prefer. Now, here's the technique. Now, I'm going to go through and describe why we're doing what we're doing, and then I'll actually uh, walk through the technique with you. The idea is to first apply crystal violet to the bacteria to stain them. We then apply iodine, and that is called a mortin. It just locks the stain in and gives you a, a better penetration and a better adhesion. Now, at this point, the thick cell wall bacteria are purple, so are the thin cell wall. So we then add decolorizer for 12 seconds. We add this 95% ethanol. Now, what that does is in 12 seconds, it'll have enough time to wash the stain out of the thin cell wall bacteria, but not the thick cell wall. So when we're done with this step, the thick cell wall bacteria will be purple, but the thin cell wall bacteria will be colorless. So the last step is to add saffronin, which is a pink stain, and it will stain all the bacteria, but the purple bacteria, the thick ones, will still be purple because purple is a more powerful color. But the little thin ones that were colorless will now pick up the pink stain and they'll be pink. So the thick turn out purple and the thin turn out pink. And we call the purple ones gram positive, thick cell wall, and the pink ones gram negative, the thin cell wall. So that way we can tell them apart. So let's actually go through the technique. Now I'm going to accelerate the times. I'll tell you how long you should leave these on, but just so the video won't be a really long video, I'm not going to actually leave them on that long. Okay, so first you apply crystal violet to your bacterial smear. Just put a couple drops. Now I'm going to leave that on for one minute. After one minute has passed, you rinse the crystal violet off. And I always rinse both sides of the slide to make sure I get it all off there. Now leave the water on. Don't worry about blotting dry. You don't blot between steps. You only blot when you're completely done with the whole technique. So I immediately move on to my iodine. And I'm going to apply a couple drops on top of the bacterial smear. And I'll let that sit one minute also. After one minute is up, I'm going to rinse it off both sides of the slide. Okay, don't blot dry. And now move on to applying the 95% ethanol, the decolorization step. Now this is the most important part of the whole process. This is where, where we're going to decolorize the thin cell wall bacteria, but not the thick cell wall. So we need to leave it on for just the right time. Put a couple drops on your bacterial smear and rock it back and forth. You'll actually see the stain coming out. And really watch your uh, clock here to make sure you leave it on for exactly 12 seconds. And then immediately rinse it off. And then finally, we apply our saffronin. So we put a couple drops of saffronin on the bacterial smear. And we're going to leave that for 45 seconds. After 45 seconds is up, we rinse the slide. Get all that saffronin off it. And now we're ready to blot it. So take your bibulous paper, put your slide in the bibulous paper, 
and lightly press on it. Don't rub it because you don't want to rub off that bacterial smear. And you're going to have to move it around a few times in order to get all the moisture up. And now it is completely dry and it is complete. So let me show you what it should look like. I'll put it out there and do a close up for you. When you look at this under your microscope, if you performed it properly and if your bacterial smear wasn't too thick, the thick cell wall bacteria will be purple, the gram positive, the thin cell wall will be pink. Those are the gram negative. So let me go over your times again. We put on crystal violet for one minute. We rinsed. We put on iodine for one minute. We rinsed. We put on decolorizer for 12 seconds, rocked it back and forth, immediately rinsed. We then put safranin on for 45 seconds, rinsed the slide, blotted it dry. Now, a few things that you want to avoid. On your bacterial smear, don't put too much bacteria. That will uh, mess up your technique. Also, when you're blotting it dry, be very careful not to rub off your smear. And the last thing, and the most important thing, one of the most important things, really watch your decolorization. It's critical you leave it on for the right time. Don't leave it on too long, and don't take it off too early. So 12 seconds has worked real well for me. That's a technique, so give it a try.